Hey, so guess what this video is going to be about? Did you guess? Did you guess now? It's going to be new additions to my addiction. Nail polish is an addiction, people. Okay, so um, first we're going to start off with manicure and pedicure essentials that I got. And this is a combined haul like this has been over time so don't think like I'm crazy and I went out and spent all this money um so the first things I got I am missing some stuff hmm, it's gonna have to be in the next haul okay so the first thing I went out and bought at Sally's not even at Sally's Beauties at this other beauty supply store I bought disposable buffing blocks and these are for when I do other people's nails and they were only $3.95. Oh, at Westgate Beauty Shop. So I went and got these. And um, so I don't have to use, I don't ever use my files on other people's nails. Or I buy people their own files. And to go along with that, when I'm doing other people's nails, I went and got uh, four different emery boards. And see the cool little cow print? Yeah. So I went and picked these up as well. Um, this is all like stuff to do nail designs mostly. So uh, I hope you guys like it. I went and got these fun easy nails. I got these at the Dollar Tree and I got these for because um, I've used, see there's two missing, I used a pair of these for um, my friend and I bought a couple more because I liked them. I actually don't use the ones with the designs on them. I like to buy the plain ones because I paint them and I decorate them to whatever I like and then I put them on and it's good for like a weekend out or something. Or you don't want to go get your nails done. Because I like having short nails. So I like long nails, but I like short nails. But I like short nails better because I'm a busy girl and I don't have time. So, like, if you watched my video the other day where I put these real-life Broadway gels nails on. And if you actually stayed through the entire video to the end where um, my opinion was, I'm actually going to do a review on them because they were horrible. Look, this is day three. This one broke this morning when I put on my sandal. This one broke the next day when I was um, pulling up my pants. And this one broke the next day when I did dishes, okay? So I'm taking them off today. That's why they're all, like, missing and everything. But, um, you like the color? I love the color. It's a Damsel in a Dress by Essie. I actually have this on my toes right now, too. It's actually one of my favorite colors right now. Um, so, back to my haul. I got these for my birthday. Pretty nails. They're the only thing is they're they have they're the pre-glued ones. So maybe I'll use them this weekend since my nails are short and they broke. So maybe I'll use them so I don't have to paint my nails because I don't like it when I have really short nails. Um, another thing I got for my birthday, I got these Decori five-piece nail brush sets. I already have a brush set, but um, these are now going to be my new ones for me. And I'm going to use the other ones for other people's nails. So, these are just for me. Um, if you saw my Rainbow Gay Chic video, whatever I titled it, um, I used these Kiss Nails for the Gay Pride nails for the, with the rainbow on the tips. And I actually really like these. These are from Kiss. And they're the full nails. And they're the clear ones. They don't have any French tip or any designs. And, um, so I bought this way in June. Um, I'll do a review on them, but I love these. I would highly recommend getting these nails. I'm going to do a cumulative review on a couple things in my, in a couple videos, so you'll see that. So you guys can kind of get the, get what I'm saying about these. Um, the next thing is I got these, um, from Candy Couture Boutique. They're nail decals, and I haven't used them yet. They're Betty Boop. Can you see? She has a little guitar. And on this side, she has a little hibiscus flower. And that's the only reason why I bought them. Super cute. Just a dollar okay, something. So, got interrupted. Um, what I just bought, which came in the mail today, and I'm super excited, and you will be too. Um, I got a new, new dotting tools. Can you see? They look like this. And I have a surprise. I bought one another set from one of my viewers because I'm gonna hold a contest uh, towards the end of this month maybe in like two more weeks and they're like this and they have all different sorts of tips and the balls are different on each end so I'm very excited to start using these I have a dotting tool set but they're more for embossing because I got them at the craft store and it's 
the the kit said they were for embossing, so they didn't work as well. And they kept like um, removing the nail polish I, that I would be working with, so I didn't like it. So I got a new one. I'm very excited. They came in the mail. I might do a video with these now. Um, next things I got, I got these at Kmart, and I'm in love with these. They are the foot soak and the foot lotion sets, and I use these when I give myself pedicures. And uh, these work really well. I actually really like them. But lately I've been using the Avon set that I bought. But these are still my favorite. So um, these are only like 75 cents at Kmart. And I got a Passion Peel Off mask. I'm going to try this out. Next thing I got, I got a new nail clipper. For like cuticles and stuff. Um, also at Kmart for like 39 cents, I got these Polish Off antibacterial is one nail polish remover pad and it's supposed to do all 10 nails and it's supposed to it has antibacterial liquids that are formulated to condition and moisturize the nails while removing nail enamel in a fast and economical way we'll see about that okay another thing I received in the mail I got these I got two of them for two dollars off eBay and they are the pump dispensers do 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 that you can use to put your acetone in. So I got this. I'd I, I like it better on my shelf because I don't like the big bottle of acetone. Just, hey guys, look at me. So I got this so it's kind of more discreet. And I'm just going to label one acetone and one regular polish remover. Okay. So the next thing I got in the mail is these thing, these little decoration beads. And these were only like a dollar something on eBay with free shipping. So I got these and I have them in every color now. So I'm really excited to start using them. I keep seeing them in, I think it's, I have a cupcakes video or cute polish or Melanie. Those are the three I subscribe to. So one of their videos and they use them all the time, but they make it look so easy. Um, it's going to be hard for me. Like they're just like with the dotting tool, moving them around every which way into a little design. But this is going to take me a while. So you won't see these in my videos for a minute. Um, the next thing I got was the, a new yellow art nail art pen because I lost mine. The day I bought it, I lost it. I think it's in my car somewhere. But um, I had the blue one, and I love the blue one. I used it in the um, Cubs video, the Chicago Cubs video. But um, I like this one, so I'm excited to start using that. And now we'll move on to the fun stuff. We'll move on to the polishes. So get your eyes ready. Okay, I will put these all on my blog. I will um, take pictures of all of them and put them on my blog probably a day or two after this video posts because I'm kind of really busy right now. But um, they will be on there, so check them out at www.crystalsdesigns.blogspot.com. Okay. All right, so now the nail polish portion. These are the newest addi additions to my addiction. So we're going to start with the ones I haven't opened. There's this one by Ellie Colors called Jewel Tone. And it's just a purple and blue um, glitter nail polish. And then I got this green glitter from LA Colors Art Deco line. I have the regular green and the lime green. I didn't have a green glitter, so I picked that up. And these were at the dollar store, the Dollar Tree. Then I got a bright orange from LA Colors Art Deco. And it's just a neon orange. Okay, the next thing I got was, this was 99 cents at my grocery store. Um, the Sally Hansen's Color Quick Fast Dry Nail Color Pin in Purple Chrome. Can you see? I don't think you can see the color because it's just going to... I am going to show you a tutorial with this because I'm in love. It dries so fast. Like, I'm happy I got this. Um, on to the next thing. Nail polishes. Nail polishes, nail polishes, nail polishes. We'll start with the design brushes that I bought. Okay. So... We'll start with this one by Kiss, and I got these in bikini green. Let me see if I move my lighting, if you see it better. Yeah, well, much better. Bikini green. And that is that color in the middle right there. Okay. It's a nice mint green. I really like that color. Um, This one, oh my goodness, I'm in love with this. Can you even see what color it is? Do you get, can you guys, can you guess? You're right. It's purple called Purple Mountains from Precision and it has like some silver glitter in there as well 
but it comes out just a purple, nice shimmer glitter. Can you see? You'll find pictures on my blog with more clarity. The next one I got from Kiss Brush on Nail Art is in Beach Purple, but it's more like a neon pink but with purple tint to it, okay? So you see that? And that's this one on the tip right there. That one right there, Beach Purple. So let's move that out of the way. Then we're going to go to our navy brand, N-A-B-I, and we're going to start with this green striper, which is called Lime. This is a design polish, and that color is right there, and this is all one coat. I'll tell you if any of them have two coats, so this is one coat, so you'll need two coats for this. Um, the next design brush is in Fuchsia. Is not Fuchsia like a maroon? Why is this brown? This is like a liquidy brown, like a chocolate milk. Can you see? So, this is again with one coat on it. You'll definitely need two coats to pick up the color. Maybe three. The next one I got by Navy is called Bronze. And that's a nice fall color, a nice bronze. I'm excited for that. And that color is right here. Again, one coat. Okay. The next one from Navy. The name is missing, but it's batch number 1101. And this is a nice, beautiful blue. Can you see that? That is going to be a great winter color for me. So that one is actually right here, and you'll need two coats for this one, definitely. And I got these for a dollar at the flea market from some nice lady. Okay? So, next in my pool of color, we're going to go with NYC. Okay? This NYC, I got them buy one, get one half off at Rite Aid, so I'm very excited. Um, this color is not a color I would usually choose for myself, but I wanted to branch out more, so I picked it, and it is called Park Avenue, and it's like a brown, taupey color. It'll be a nice color if you're going for, like, a nude look, and you're, like, more my complexion. Can you see that right there? And this is one color, so you, one coat. You'll definitely only need one coat with these. The next one I picked up from NYC is called Fashion Avenue Fuchsia. Now this is what I expect when I say the name Fuchsia, not that brown we saw. And this is a beautiful, beautiful color. And that is right here. Can you see? That's going to be a nice color. The next one I got, this one's amazing. I got it from Wet n Wild. Can you see? It's amazing, right? Clear! I got it in a pack. It's a two pack. It came with a clear and a regular color for $1.99. So I got it. And this is the color it came with called Tale of Fortune. Oh my goodness. And I love this color, but I'm so upset. I tried wearing it on my toes the other day, but by the time you go to do the second coat, it kind of takes the first coat off, which is the only thing I don't like about Wet n Wild and their staying power, but I still buy them because I really like their colors. Isn't that beautiful? It has like little gold flecks of shimmer inside of it. And that color is this one right here. Can you kind of pick up the shimmer a little? So I was happy with that. I'm going to go one more wet and wild. And this one is called Disturbia. And it is a brown with a brown. A purple. It is a deep purple. And it has like little purple shimmer in it. Can you see that? Of course I have to have it because it was purple. And when you paint it on, it's barely any shimmer. And you'll definitely definitely need two coats for this one. Most definitely. It's kind of... It's a little lighter than the one I have on right now, which is by Essie. Okay. So next I have bought some from Petites. The first one I bought, I used this in the Sexy Zebra Pedicure video, and this is Sapphire. Oh, and I also used the 
Fashion Avenue Fuchsia from NYC in the Sexy Pedicure video. These are my new ones. So this is Sapphire and it is a beautiful blue. It is more true blue than the navy I picked up. This has a little bit more till in it. And this is a beautiful blue with like some silver flecks in it. Okay, do you see that? This, I picked it up because it reminded me of my mom. She loves blue. And I actually just wanted to show her. Got them for buy one, get one half off at Rite Aid. Can you see that? That is a nice blue. The next one I bought is, I'm in this teal phase. I bought Utopia. And it is a nice shimmer teal color. Can you pick up that shimmer? You see that? And this one you're going to need uh, maybe two to three coats. Because do you see? It's very translucent, so you're going to need a couple coats for that one. The next one I picked up, and it exploded in my room. I guess my house is that hot. It's from LA Colors, and it is in, I believe it was Sunset. I wrote it down somewhere. Sunrise. This is Sunrise. And it's a nice coral orange color. More orangey. But I would definitely wear this. I'm not an orange kind of girl. But this is a nice color. It looks kind of pink on this camera, but when I when you see the pictures on my blog, it'll definitely be more on the orange side. Okay, the next I got four nail design um, nail polishes from Clean Color. The first one I got is in baby blue. Okay, that's this one right here. The next one is a blue glitter, which is just a blue glitter to add like to your design. And that's that one right there, if you can pick that up. The next two are green glitter and fuchsia glitter. And you'll need a couple coats if you're going to use these by themselves, okay? And those are these two. You'll see the colors better in my blog. Um, and the last five colors I have, and we're done, okay? I'm sorry I've kept you this long. I hope I didn't bore you too much. The first one is a, a purple one, and you can see why I got it, of course. And it is called Silver Purple, and it is true to its name. It has some silver flecks in it, some light shimmer, and it is a nice... Like, I would use this for a wedding. Like, the wedding I'm going to be in in October, I think this might be my wedding color. So, I'm going to tell her. And you're going to need about three coats if you want a good, like, strong color with this one. Um, the next one I got, I would never wear it by itself, but I would definitely use it for design. It's called Neon Yellow. And this is very bright. Just a very true, bright yellow. No shimmer. You'll need two coats for this because... The first coat, it kind of, um, you can still kind of see the nail right here. Um, the last three I got, this one is Unforgettable Memories, and it is a nice shimmer light blue. And that is right here. And then, oh my goodness, I keep saying I love these colors, but I do. This one's Metallic Aqua. And it is a nice glimmer tail. Look at that. Look at it. Oh my goodness. And I'm, I think I might do this color next. As a matter of fact, can you see that? The last one I got is Cobalt. And I also picked this up because it reminded me of my mom. It is a freaking beautiful blue with like a hint of purple in it. Oh my goodness, the camera can't even take that beauty up. Can you see that? Okay, and this one you're going to definitely definitely need two colors of. That's that color right there. And the reason why I say they're all pretty, I mean, look at this color wheel. They're definitely all very pretty colors. I mean, uh, it's like I'm done for the fall. I don't need to buy any nail polish. I'm good. Um, but aside from that, I do have an update for you guys. Um, an announcement. So, I, let's see... 
I did open up a Facebook, so go ahead and like me on there so you can know when my videos go up and you can also conversate with me. I did open up a Twitter, Crystal's Design, so go ahead and follow me on Twitter. Um, last announcement is I'm going to have a contest in about two weeks. There's going to be two contests and I have two awesome awesome prizes. I can go ahead if you guys want, leave me a comment below if you guys want to see the prizes so you know if you want to enter the contest. And um, I'm still trying to figure out what the contest is going to be about but I have a pretty good idea. So go ahead, go ahead and let me know if you guys want a video about the contest and if you guys want to enter so go ahead and follow me on Twitter and Facebook and you guys can go ahead and wait for two, two more weeks and the contest details will be up and please enter because they are awesome prizes okay so all in all I think my next video will be um, a tutorial a manicure definitely a pedicure and a review a four in one review most likely so I don't bore you guys too much and um, let me know down below if you guys like that I give you detailed tutorials they're kind of long but I like I personally like to see tutorials where they show you how to do it on multiple fingers so you kind of get the gist and kind of learn along or do you guys just want me to do most of my fingers and show you on one finger so it's a like a five three to five minute video let me know so I can help you guys to watch more of my videos obviously um, and please do video responses if you guys do recreate any of my nail designs and uh, let me know what you guys want and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.